In a busy British countryside, there's no such thing as a normal stork. And for some reason, things tend to happen to Kai more than most. There was the youngster who blew our chances playing his French horn, plus multiple dog walker interactions. What the hell? Which Kai deals with exceptionally well. No wonder he's just been crowned Best Influencer at the Eat Game Awards. As dawn breaks, it's a normal day in the office, just with less rain. What a gorgeous morning. It's been so wet the last few weeks, it's been absolutely horrendous. But um, the last few days, it's just been really, really nice. Kai's friend Trigger from Norway is on another part of his ground, completing a successful hunting trip to the UK. Trigger's out on neighbouring farm. Um, he's the mad Norwegian. He's come over for a few days. Um, we try and catch up with each other once a year. I just put him on a group of deer, so hopefully he's had some success. And then we're going to head down on a, on a new permission I've got here. So I've got a lovely big sloping field here. Sometimes it literally is like the Serengeti. We'll see what it's like today. Probably barren knowing our luck. With his new Bergara Wilderness in 308, we head off to find Fallow. This is a gorgeous rifle, look at that. <laughs> Salesman. Kai knows they're in this valley. It's just where. I've got really good clarity actually through this. Um, but visibility is obviously quite poor. But I can tell straight away there's nothing there. It saves a lot of time. The thermal is a go-to tool for Kai. As much as this is something he loves, he also needs results for his wild meat catering company, Game and Flames. The fields are suffering from weeks and weeks of rain, so Kai may pass up opportunities due to challenging extraction. Eventually, we find the deer. They're in a block of woodland. The first opportunity doesn't present a safe backstop. I've got backstop. Bumped a group of does, they look like. And some yearlings down at the bottom here. We just come into the wood. And um, one of the ones spotted us. I tried to get in position, but uh, they moved on, so we'll try and let them settle and catch up with them. 150 yards further on, Kai has a shot through a gap in the trees. Is it? So this is, this is soft nose, 160 grain. I put the scope of the rifle on the Bagara um, just before Trigger came actually on uh, Monday. It took me 15 minutes to zero it in. Straight from the box is, is half an inch. And I can't really ask for any more than that and consistently dropped deer since I've zeroed it in. We've had a very busy week in the deer as well. So, um, so how are you with your deer numbers now and getting to, to fill those freezers? Um, we're a little bit behind just because it's been so wet. I mean. I think most of us, you know, a lot of us stalkers know the last few weeks has been just absolutely just ridiculously wet, especially down here in the south. So tra extraction's a, a big problem. Oh, there's a lady with a dog, let's move. Kai hears a walker calling her dogs, but she spots us and shouts. Kai unloads his rifle, leaves it with David and heads up to see her. It's just the way it goes sometimes, isn't it, you know? and. Like I said, hearts and minds. You, you got. You got to. You got to explain clearly. You know. You, you can't. Who did she think you were? Um, I, I don't know who she thought I was. Really, you know. She just shouted like, "Oi!" Yeah, oi. Um, and so like, she, when you first went up to her, what did she say? She goes, "What? What, what are you doing here?" And I explained it. I'm shooting. Um, and she, uh, yeah. So. She goes shooting what? Shooting the deer, and she said she saw me. She saw me drag something. She saw saw the belly of it. She goes, was it the one of the white ones? And I Isn't said, it no. Funny about the white ones. 
I think people got it's, it's sentimental because the people think they're rare, but actually around here they're not really that rare. There's, there's quite a lot of them, but they are um, they are treasured by the local people. And yeah, I get that. I do, I do get it because you know in your garden you look out and you see you want to. You look, well, they obviously like the white ones, so. At one point, in, uh, eventually, they are going to need to be Carl, kind because of, more and they more. They taste the same, Kai. They taste exactly. They taste exactly. You wouldn't be able to know whatever coat they're wearing. They all taste exactly the same. Um, they all taste absolutely delicious. Um, yeah. So. Let's sort him out. Huh? Let's sort him out. Let's go. Yeah. Let's sort him out. Let's uh, drag him. We need, to, we need to drag him to. Uh, to the bottom, actually, because I think we need to be able to extract. Or oh, actually, maybe I might be able to carry him to the top. Um, Another puffing Kai moment. Yeah, I've got a decision to make. I, I've got a buggy, but it's the time it takes for me to go back to the farm and get the buggy to bring here might I'll be. Help you. I'll help you. Yeah, I think we'll just drag it to the top, and then uh, go see Trigger, and then we. Are, I think I'm starving. Are you? Yeah. Could do with a nice brunch of breakfast. So so far, Trigger's got two. I've got one, and uh, it's been a very successful morning. So very pleased. So, a slice of charm and a haunch of venison saves the day and keeps the locals on side. For more information about the Bergara Wilderness and other Bergara rifle models, head to artemisoutdoorsuk.co.uk.